Hello, welcome to Take Three Cards. This is the energy for Mercury in retrograde, which is, ooh, take three cards that have fallen on the floor already, or just throw three cards on the floor. I mean, I was gonna say, okay, let's have them up here. This is for Mercury retrograde, in case you can't tell. The first video I recorded for this didn't record, and, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take the reversals on these. Okay, what we do in take three cards, I'm doing these three cards to show you the energy for the collective for Mercury Retrograde, what to look out for, what's going on in your love life, destiny, whatever it is. But if you like, you can also take your own tarot pack and do three cards, okay? Having a look, maybe based on the way I'm doing this or how you do your own or whatever it is, and also, if you're subscribed to the channel or you've just subscribed to the channel, do feel free to leave in the comments section the three cards that you've pulled, okay? And I'll try to get to as many as I can just to give you my little input on those three cards if you want it. Um, because I did this in a recent video about manifesting and I really love doing it. And I can't promise I can get to everybody because I was inundated in that video and I didn't get to everybody. But if you subscribed and you want to, Leave your three cards and I will see uh, what I can get to because I really like it. Also, don't leave any personal information in the comment section. Just a little thing. No names, no dates, no anything like that. Just the three cards, okay? Anyway, without further ado, let's look at the three cards. And of course, for you, you know, uh, if you're looking at how to shuffle, my thing with shuffling is it's just a mechanical thing. You know, it doesn't do a lot for me. And just like then, if three cards fall on the floor, that's the three cards. I'm sure I've told you many times about my friend who does brilliant tarot readings when she's drunk. And what she, the best tarot reading she ever did me, she came in with a bottle of wine and a tarot pack, threw it all over the floor because she tripped. And there was just a few cards upright. She was like, that's your reading. <laughs> it was so accurate. Okay, let's have a look at these three cards. We And they're all in reverse. I know, they fall on the floor and they're all in reverse. So it's just to say, you can do reversals or not. That's always up to you and that's always your choice. Today I feel like it. So I think, yeah, I'm doing them. They felt reversey. Okay, that's the first thing to say. We're in Mercury retrograde. So I accept the reversal. We've got Page of Swords in reverse. We've got the Moon in the reverse. And we've got the Two of Swords in the reverse. <laughs> I'm gonna start in the middle. And again, you don't have to start in any particular order. Just, you know, even if you are the kind of person that likes to begin at the beginning and end at the end, maybe do that. But if you're not, doesn't matter. Start wherever the heck you wanna start. I feel like starting in the middle because as I look at these three cards, I'm just getting comfy, got my cup of tea, go and get yourself a cup of tea, got my periodic table mug. I don't even know if you can see that actually. You can see that at the top of my drink. Go and get yourself a cup of tea. Okay. The moon is really rising up out of this reading. We're doing this reading, it's a new moon in Libra, okay, as we're doing this reading. This is a full moon. So what this tells me immediately, and I would recommend always having a moon diary, mine is astrocal.co.uk, but you can get different ones anywhere, and I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I do like them. Um, I then look up the next full moon. Now, some of you may know the next full moon. I never know the next full moon. You can also do a moon app on your phone, or just Google next full moon. 20th of October, it's in Aries, yes. Okay, I like it, opposite sign of Libra. So just know that whatever we're starting in this reading for the collective probably has a lifespan of going through for the next couple of weeks until we reach that full moon energy. So it's probably got a two week lifespan. Now that doesn't mean it just dies out in two weeks, it just means that's the energy we're looking at, okay? So here we've got the moon in reverse. The moon, of course, it rules cancer and it represents Pisces in tarot. So I've got that in mind for you. Also, 
I just see this, it's, it's like a mirror. It reminds me of when you're looking at, you know, when you've got those shots of like, a, like this, of a river, and then you can see it kind of coming up like a picture backwards. Whatever a mirror does, you know how mirrors make things backwards? I don't really, I, I totally don't understand it, <coughs> and I don't need to, but something about your current situation is backwards. So, it's funny because I did a reading before this that didn't record and that came up, a similar message came up. Mercury retrograde, of course, is about the re, it's about retro, it's about revise, and it always helps, and this is a particularly full-on Mercury retrograde this time, it always helps if you can get into retrograde energy yourself. You might feel it, you might have more headaches than normal, you might feel pressure, tension, tiredness, all of those things, uh, frustration, uh, even like a bit weepy. I tend to find I'm on my last, um, my last bit of, if I had a battery life, I'm kind of definitely always on that last 25% when Mercury's retrograde for the whole time. Don't have an awful lot of bandwidth, okay? Go with that. But also know that the mirror seeks to show you something, okay? It wants to reflect something back at you. But at the moment, it's murky. So if you can imagine like you're the Queen of Cups, and it's always good to imagine another tarot card to explain one that you've got, okay? Imagine that the only thing you had to explain life was a deck of tarot cards. So you think, okay, Queen of Cups. She is sat there with this big cup and it has a surface area of water or wine. And imagine that she's getting images, kind of like a crystal ball and it's coming, it's called scrying and she has them coming, but they're not quite, they're not quite coming into focus. The situation that you're in, whether it's relationship or, and it usually is relationship, whether it's relationship to work or relationship romantically, doesn't matter, we're all in relationship to other things. A situation is coming into focus, but it really isn't there yet. And this fights with this energy because we've got the two of swords. And if you look at this in the upright, the upright is when you can't see your way forward, you can't see what's in front of you, you can't see the picture, you can't see, literally. You've got a blindfold on. When it goes into reverse, the sword energy, which is your mental, your communication, those kinds of things, they want to go forward. They want to, and if you notice, there's like a new moon symbol, so what I take as a new moon symbol. So as you are in this energy, this Libra new moon energy, it feels like <clears throat> you want to express. And you know, Libra is ruled by Venus, so maybe you want to express what's in your heart to another person. You want to make something clear, or you wish that they wanted to make something clear, which is not clear at the moment, okay? If we look here, we've got the Page of Swords in reverse. Whew. Page of Swords is the page, so he's the junior, you know, he's the intern of communication, and boy, does he get it wrong. So communication is not your best friend. Mercury is retrograde. It feels like, it feels like it should be good. Speaking might feel like a good idea. Having the talk might feel like a good idea. This looks like a mismash, mishmash, a mismash, a mismash or a shmishmash. It looks like a bit of a mess, but the mess becomes something so much clearer over the next two weeks as we approach the full moon. And funnily enough, the full moon's on the 20th and Mercury goes direct, even though it takes a week or two, it starts to go direct on the 18th. I know. Don't push 
the energies, I don't think there's much point in it. It doesn't feel like there is, okay? What do we want to go with those? I'm just gonna take a couple of oracle cards. And of course, if you've got your own oracle cards, have a riff around and do some oracle cards as well. What do I wanna know about? I want to take a couple of Chuck Spezzano's. This is called the Love Pack, okay? Chuck Spezzano Love Cards or the Love Pack. Let's have a couple of these to, hi to highlight. I'll tell you what, speaking of communication, I communicated perfectly in the last video that didn't record. <laughs> it's like, Do as well, check out, I've done a pick a card reading. How do they feel about you? That's in the description box. There's a love reading for October and there are your individual star sign readings. And do subscribe to the channel if you want more tutorial style stuff and dailies, pick a cards, all kinds of random, all kinds of randoms really. Okay. These do feel a bit clonky. Oof. Chuck Spezzano love cards. Self-consciousness. Isn't that weird? What is he doing except looking in a mirror? The view that you have of the situation at the moment is distorted and that's not your fault. Um, but I don't particularly think it's anybody's fault. I just think it's deliberately distorted before it becomes clear. And that's the way it needs to roll, okay? We get cynicism. <laughs> Love this card. It's very easy to become cynical when Mercury is retrograde. I definitely have had moments of cynicism in a real, you know, you just think, really? Hmm. See if you can go with the flow of that mirrored energy, okay? Everything is mirrored. It could even be a bit like the old fashioned fairground mirrors where everything is just distorted. You know, it just feels like it will come into alignment and you will see, but not until Mercury goes direct. And then we get this rather lovely card, which is the grace card. This is about behaving with grace, but also accepting that whatever's being handed to you is grace in itself. And that can be quite a difficult stance to find when you're being challenged on all fronts by Mercury retrograde. But at the same time, you know, <laughs> we have to have something to aim for, don't we? And this is a very beautiful thing. I'm gonna take one Oracle card, we'll have an angel oracle card just to go with it. Doreen Virtue's angel oracle cards. Oh, that's interesting. Meditation. Beautiful. For some people, communication may be too much or just too encumbered, too stumbly, too crumbly, too bumbly. I mean, for me, it's been a real challenge. Sometimes when you meditate, it's just a whole different communication. It looks a bit more like that, actually, where you're more focused on the inner landscape than you are on the outer landscape. This moon emerging here, that is the inner landscape finding its portal to the outer landscape. But for now, you just have this slightly questionable mirror image, okay? Leave me a comment. And if you're a subscriber, you can leave me your three cards and I'll do my very best to get to them. And I will see you soon. Namaste.